Hello everyone and welcome to Elm Creek. Now I wanted to put a, together a new type of video for my channel and I thought I would start off with uh, explaining what's come in the latest um, patch 1.9 from Giants. Now one of the biggest things that's um, actually been released is a new storage shed that's actually part of the base game now. It's called Bale and, Store Bale and Pallet Storage and it's been released uh, ready for the new Gowl pack which is released at the end of the month and it's part of the new Season 2 uh, pack DLC. So what I thought I'd do, I want to put a quick video together just showing literally whether all these different types of bales and some of the uh, default types of production outputs actually go into the uh, storage and uh, the best way to put it in really so let's uh, start off with some different size grass bales for a start now i am using the uh, easy development mod just to allow me to have things like super strength and also to allow me to spawn pallets and bales etc so we'll start with some round bales now i've picked all, all three of the uh, different size round bales and or three different size of the grass bale square one sorry and cotton a big silage big hay big straw and then what i thought i'd do as well is start with some of the uh, productions from um, both the platinum expansion and also some of the core game ones um, and also the cotton bale as well so i think we'll start in this one and we'll uh, look at see if we can actually put some of the normal so that went in and it seems to so that uh, okay go for so that actually tells you there as well so big bag lime 2000 liters big bag seeds thousand so it actually gives you all the information as well which is pretty good now let's see if this will work it will yeah wood beam so this will actually work for anybody on platinum expansions as well i've got a platinum expansion game going but i don't really play it much at the moment sugar yeah that works i'm thinking all these are going to be going in so let's just mix this up a second let's just put this cotton bale in and see if it takes it as normal which i think it will do yeah so that takes that's two three four six seven eight nine yeah okay so it is one and it just and it also shows you at the back so that's pretty good i do i do think this is a really good mod actually to add um to well not mod but addition to the uh to the base game so that's them and yeah, I think what I'll do now actually is let's just get the telehandler and see if it is simple enough with the telehandler to put one in as well. So let's start with, let's get the bell fork. That's good. And we'll put this, this normal size one in. And hopefully, I'm hoping, you should be able to drive straight up to it. Let's have a quick look. Hopefully we should. Uh, place it down on the ground. Yes, right, same as any uh, point then real, I suppose. So how do we get it out? Ah, that's clever. So you just go up to it and it opens a storage dialogue and you can pick what you would like to actually have spawned. That's quite good. So I've, I've seen this before on the uh, one of the mods, but obviously I think it's like um, bale storage and you can actually pick how you want it to be given out. So I'm guessing this is slightly different. So yeah, okay. And then just put it back in again. Fantastic. I'm guessing it will do the same thing for pallets. While we're going there, let's put the, uh, let's put paper in this one, I think. Yeah, that's fine. I haven't found anything so far that um, hasn't gone in. Now I believe that another uh, review person may have found a fertilizer pack that doesn't go in yet. But I'm not 100% certain. Let's try the biggest. This is the biggest one, obviously. Whoop. Yeah, wow. Okay. And it doesn't matter how big it is um, in regards to... In, in regards to what we put in. Obviously, you've got a square bell of cotton 20,000 litres. It only takes one slot. So that's really handy, actually. Um, I don't think we're going to have to do much more here. So that's pretty good, yeah. Wow. And um, let's just try one last thing and we'll put the table in we may as well finish off putting the rest of these pallets into the storage to see if it takes the rest of the uh, arrangement we've got here let's have a quick look metal All right. let's see if that goes in yeah that goes in um, so 13 out of 250 yeah okay so obviously it is based on a thousand the big bag of limes interesting though 
because it actually shows us two slots. So this is a big bag of lime stuff. Oh, there was two bags. I didn't think I did have two bags, but oh well, I must have done. So that's fine. Uh, so it is based on what you actually physically put in. Let's try the uh, cat trees. Yep, fantastic. We may as well tidy this up a little bit. Let's use the telehandler again. Uh, just better be careful here because you end up sometimes, yeah, like that. <laughs> that does happen quite often actually, doesn't it? Uh, if you're using the super strength mod, it does seem to be. Let's try a round bale quickly. Let's try and put it in the other one now. Okay, let's see if this works. I can't see why it shouldn't. And I'm guessing if we do it with trailers, it'll be exactly the same. Pull up and there we go. Fantastic. Right. So I think we'll do the other bales over here quickly. Um, as part of this video also I wanted to um, run through the... Um, I think there's been some additional information about some of the uh, equipment that's coming as part of the new Season 2 pass and the uh, GAL uh, balers etc. So I'll be running through that as well. That's that one done. One more. Actually a couple more quick. Not many. Oh, that didn't go so well. I didn't have the... Uh, bale spike in a very good position there I don't think so but this I think is going to really help with storage issues that um, I sometimes have when you've got bales etc on some bigger maps and uh, games so this is going to be a really welcome addition for a lot of people I'm sure um, I'm definitely going to be using this hopefully in a couple of my series moving forward um, I don't think it's a lot of money we'll have a quick check actually in a minute so let's just finish this Let's get this one in. There we are. Ah, uh, I wonder if this will work actually. Two different types of bale at a time. Let's have a quick look. Let's see if this will go in and take them both. Ah, okay. So yes it will. And yes it will. Fantastic. Well, right. So, last quick check. So it's in construction. And it's actually in the silos section. And it's bale and pallet storage. And it's 29,000. So... And from what I've understand and what I've learnt, there's no limit, same as any other building. So just keep adding them if you've run out of slot count from what I can work out. So I think that's a fantastic addition to the game. And I think we should move on now to talk about the latest additions and information we've got from the fact sheets on the new GAL pack. Now the first machine is a GAL G1F125. It's a baler. It's £59,500 to buy, or dollars, or euros, whichever currency you're playing in. It uh, requires 120 horsepower, you can do 17 kilometers an hour, and it weighs 5.6 tonnes. Now, it only seems to be doing 125 centimetre bales, but that should be pretty good for a small-scale farm or somebody just starting off. So, that looks like a good addition. The next one is a bale wrapper, by the looks of it, a G1015 which uh, goes on, uh, it looks like a uh, front loader, um, and that is 16,000. It weighs 985 kilograms. It can wrap bales um, of up from 125 to 150 centimeters, and I think it can do plant-based bales, which obviously is coming in this pack, and also uh, normal uh, grass bales to, to uh, make silage. So that should be an interesting uh, bit of equipment to use. The next two bits of equipment look like they're on the uh, same fact sheet. So you've actually got a BTGQU, which is a bale handler. Now it's uh, not shown exactly what this is attached to, but it looks like a front loader on the tractor to me. Um, it's $2,800 or pounds. Um, it's 381 kilograms and it can uh, lift square 180 centimeter bales. And the next one looks like it's a uh, bale wrapper for square bales. So um, it's a G4010Q Profi. Um, it's a bale wrapper. It's 52,000. Uh, 3.2 tons. It can do um, both square and round bales by the looks of this. And it can do uh, vegetation based bales and also uh, normal grass bales. So that's good. And that looks like it should be quite an interesting one to use moving forward. And the last one is a G-1125 Combi. So it's a big square. Is it a square bale? No, it's a round bale with a wrapper on it as well. So that's 96,500. Needs 160 horsepower. Weighs 9 tonnes, so it's a big one. It can do 125 centimetre bales and you can uh, operate at 10 miles an hour. Now I'm hoping that uh, these ones should be some pretty good... Um, things to add to the game 
and I'm hoping to use these in my series. Now, many thanks for watching this video. Hope you found it informative. If you have, give it a like and subscribe. And uh, I look forward to talking to you next time. Many thanks.